is to look at how can we use telehealth to really um, beef up, yeah. if you will, the, the resources that are available in the mm -hmm. community. But then, so care is one piece of it. Mm -hmm. um, but then you've got to look at root causes and the program things in the community that we need to do. Um, one of the initiatives that the task force is looking at is they've hired a case manager to support homeless veterans. Um, helping people navigate through the system is important. It can be, you can have all the resources you need in a community, but if people don't know how to access them, it might as well be like they're not there. And one of the things that we've learned is that our agencies are not so easy to maneuver from one to the other to the other. And so that's one of the pieces that I think we've try to invest in in this community is this whole concept of case management. So for Access Health Spartanburg, they have community health workers who not only just talk to you about what issues are going on for you, but they may go with you to the doctor's office or they may help you rewrite your resume so that you can apply for a job. It's really kind of that coach or that, that personal coach, if you will, for you that's helping you address the barriers that are getting in the way of you having a productive healthy life. So um, we have a client um, in this community who joined us. He was, when we first met him, he was in the jail. And he had multiple health conditions, uh, but he was in jail for the third, fourth, I don't know what time. And he said to our caseworkers who went to the jail to talk to him, I don't know why you're here, but I'm pretty sure you're two angels that just dropped down out of heaven to help me because I've been talking a lot to God lately and I don't know how I screwed my life up this badly and why I've ended up where I've ended up. But I told God if he would just send me a little bit of help that I was gonna turn my life around and they said, we're gonna help you. And so when he was released from prison in 2013, I think, um, first we helped him get a part-time job, we helped him get all the doctor's appointments, he had a bunch of medical issues, um, but we helped him with all these other issues, transportation, medication, he got a part-time job, got another part-time job, and six weeks ago he graduated from our program because he's now a forklift operator for BMW, full-time, third shift and he has full-time benefits, and he's also become a missionary, and he's now going back to jail and counseling folks who are in there about how to turn their lives around. Yeah, his name is Dwight Rice, and um, he's, he's one of our Access oh, Health God. clients, and he's, he's just a great example of when a community cares, you can help people break the cycle, mm -hmm. and he's a perfect example of let's really understand what the issues are, and then let's help people get back on track. Wow, that's awesome. And